In today's video, we are going to be trying sublimation on these Dollar Tree buckets. I bet you've never thought about sublimating on these, but I'm about to blow your mind. So if you want to see, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do cricket and sublimation videos. If any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's jump into this video, guys. So for this project, you're going to need the Dollar Tree bucket. Let me provide you the code so that you can find them. I'll also have these linked down below in the description, so make sure to look out for that. So you'll need your bucket. You'll need your design. I will be doing a bunch of little designs all over my bucket. So you're going to need your design. You're going to need some heat gloves to keep your hands protected don't buy these this pair sucks i need better ones to keep your hands protected when dealing with this you're going to need a mug press right here this is the heat press nation signature series mug press this is the four in one it comes with a latte 11 ounce 15 ounce and a shot glass shot glass attachments right now i have the latte one because the bucket is wider on top and um not as wide in the bottom um keep in mind when you make your design for these that there are these handles right here that you cannot take off so it is going to be way harder to press up here your mug press is only going to be able to go up to there but i will show you what to do about that i did my design on honestly speaking paper so i don't need um butcher paper but if you don't you need butcher paper or um craft paper to protect your mug press from getting the sublimation ink on there so let's start prepping our bucket so that we can press it okay so we're gonna take our bucket we're gonna make sure that we're just wiping it down. You can take a lint-free cloth to wipe it down or you can just use your hands. I decided to do a bunch of butterflies for my design. You might not be as extensive as I am, but I don't know, I love butterflies and I just decided to do that. So I'm just randomly gonna press my, put my butterflies on my bucket. You can decide, like this would be cool for like a baby shower or bridal shower or something to supplement a picture of the bride or like for a birthday, supplement a picture of, you know, the birthday child, birthday person on there. Just, you know, personalize it. I think that's as many butterflies as I'm going to be able to put on here. So we're going to move to our mug press. We're going to take our cup and we're going to slide it in. And then I'm going to close it. Close it. And I'm doing 385 for 60 seconds. And I might have to turn it to do one of the sides. If you don't have a latte um, attachment, you're going to have to use a glove or something and stick your hand inside of the bucket and kind of hold it down. A good amount of pressure on all sides. I'm gonna rotate it so I can get the side that I didn't get. Now we're going to move to our desk and I'm going to show you how to get these areas up here that the mug press was not able to get. So we're going to take our Cricut Easy Press Mini. And we're going to use it to get all those areas that we couldn't get. Take it and we're just going to press until we see the design come through.
I love how this turned out. I was really skeptical at first, but look at that color. These, like I said, these would be great for birthday parties, putting the photo there, design it however you would like. These would be good for baby showers, wedding, as like a centerpiece. You can put like flowers or other stuff or for dessert tables, put some snacks in there. I am amazed with how well this turned out. And it really didn't take long at all. So let me know down below if you guys tried these out. Let me know how they turned out, how you made them, what you decided to put on them. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.